Okay, so what we're going to demonstrate in this um, little clip is how we can customize the main page with pretty minimal effort on the, the end users um, from the end user's perspective. So what we can do here, at the top you see that there's a, an open menu bar. If we click on this and if the browser is, is behaving properly Yep, so we click on this guy. It opens up to display um, a cover, cover flow. Uh, this cover flow contains available widgets that can be dragged and dropped from this area into the main page. So let's do that for, let's say, um, Kazing status. So we use Kazing status here as an example. Um, because Kazing is actually providing all of the, the push technology from our comple complex event processing engine, uh, CEP. We're using uh, Stream Insight at the moment, um, and also um, other back end processes that are pulling data from Yahoo, Google, and dropping it onto the Kazing infrastructure, and that then being gets displayed in the front end. So if we wait a second or two, um, at some point very shortly, it'll show you, show us uh, some information according to uh, the Kazing sort of status. So we can also remove gadgets. And as you can see, the uh, Kazing status shows us how many stock messages we've received, how many position summary messages we, we have received, trades, positions, etc. So we can close an element by hitting on the, the X button, which is on the far right hand side of the widget. And we'll add in, let's say, what else do we have up here that's of interest? Okay, we'll, we'll add in chat. Now our chat component utilizes um, XMPP to communicate with Google Talk um, in this implementation. Uh, but it would be easy enough to change this to talk to OpenFire or other XMPP compliant um, chat services. Um, as you can see, I dragged and dropped the chat element from our um, cover flow. We'll quickly close that. Um, and now you can see on the left hand side a list of uh, names on the right hand side chat history but there's really not that much room to uh, look at what we've got here so what we can do is we can actually maximize this gadget so we've maximized the chat gadget and now let's say I want to talk to um, Bruce Popel so I click on Bruce Popel and I get for that contact I get a um, a pop-up window that I can talk directly to Bruce. But if I then also wanted to talk to ICOS Partners, I can click on that and, and see um, ICOS Partners. So very similar to the way that Gtalk works. Let's minimize that. If I maximize the position details, you'll see how the screen changes to show both position information in the grid and also as a chart. Uh, and if I look at the exploding pie chart that we have, if I maximize, it then allows me to look at the dimensions that I'm showing on the screen along with measures. What this pie chart is doing is each ring represents a dimension and the segmentation of each ring is determined by the measure you've selected. So the default measure I believe is by quantity but if I change it to buy realized or to sell quantity, you can see how quickly the, the chart updates to show the, the breakdown. Um, if I'm interested in showing a different set of dimensions, so we've got equity, everything is equity in the uh, system at the moment. I go to username, as you can see, Pete has a lot of uh, activity and we've got smaller sets of activity down for uh, Pete. Let's try fun name. Uh, not very interesting. 
portfolio name a little more interesting so let's go from portfolio name to fund name and you can see everyone's on the same fund let's do book and starts getting a little more interesting external name um, as you can see here our labels are kind of getting a, a little away from us here let's get rid of external name let's use user full name so now I can see by by security class by portfolio name book name how each of the users is broken out in each of these different sections what I can also do is I can click on a ring and I get a little drill down capability and if I want to go back to the previous um, version I can click and go back I can size gadgets by clicking on um, the, the arrows that appear. So I can change how something spans a number of columns and a number of rows. Or I can say, you know what, I don't like the tree map where it is at the moment. So I can drag it into a different spot on the screen. And let's say I extend out the position details widget as well. And now the next time the user logs in, this is the screen they'll, they'll be displayed. Um, we have a number of the gadgets that are communicating with each other. So if I click on, if I go to the watch list, click on Google. I should see the Google real-time chart or the real-time chart update with the Google uh, prices and also the hor uh, historical chart as well. Um, I think that's it for this little presentation.